You're looking into the eyes of the artist Thelma Johnson Street. She's painted herself as a black Virgin Mary, all in white. Can you feel the strength and presence this woman must have had? Street was born in 1911, only 11 years after Oregonians voted to keep language excluding black people in the Constitution. She moved to Portland with her family when she was a child and later attended the Museum Art School, which eventually became the Pacific Northwest College of Art. She created works inspired by black history and culture and painted grand murals for the Works Project Administration during the Depression. In 1942, the Museum of Modern Art in New York bought her painting Rabbit Man, making her the first black woman artist in their permanent collection. She rode a wave of recognition in the 1940s, but by the time she died in 1959, her fame was already being erased, a forgotten footnote in academic art history. What I find so compelling about Street is her multidisciplinary approach. She was a groundbreaking performance artist and dancer who created pieces where her movement interacted with her paintings. Throughout the exhibition, we're going to connect with Street's spirit of experimentation and have dance and music in the galleries. Check the museum website for details.